Why on earth is NVIDIA, and yes, I said it right, but why is NVIDIA soaring, but Tesla is not? Since year to date, NVIDIA is up more than 50%, which is an absolute sheesh moment, and Tesla is down 25%. Despite the endless prey that I want a Tesla stock below 200 to buy more shares, and I am buying more shares, everyone seems to be very upset that Tesla is not mooning, but not just NVIDIA, but the whole entire market, mainly NVIDIA though, is soaring, mooning, and it's having a NVIDIA moment. NVIDIA is having a Tesla moment, whatever is going on on the internet is flipping hilarious. But why though? Why is NVIDIA mooning? Like, it's not going to stop. Just look at that. It's not stopping. It's just not stopping. It's like Tesla back in 2020. So why is this the case and why Tesla isn't? And I get it. There's a lot of Tesla investors who are frustrated, which I don't think you should be because this is a long-term investment. If you're frustrated, then you're probably looking at NVIDIA and going like, man, I want Tesla stock to moon, or you have money that you need in the next three to six months, and you're pretty pissed off about that, which with Tesla, you need a much longer horizon, five plus years for Tesla. But nonetheless, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna discuss why NVIDIA is mooning, why Tesla isn't. Smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go. Let's first talk about NVIDIA. We gotta go back to where all this started and this started in Q1 of 2023 earnings reports, which was on 25th of May, 2023, and they absolutely smashed earnings. EPS was $1.09 versus 92 cents expected, which is in flip insane revenue was literally almost a billion dollars more than the actual expected. It was just insane. It was a really good quarter, but it was the earnings call that had the stock go up literally after hours. I remember this. It was like 35%, 40%. It was in flip insane. Here is what they had to say in earnings call. I want you guys to listen to it because if you guys want a stock to moon, this is what earnings call needs to sound like. Check it out. We had an exceptional quarter. Record Q2 revenue of $13.51 billion was up 88% sequentially and up 101% year on year and above our outlook of $11 billion. Record revenue of $10.32 billion was up 141% sequentially and up 171% year on year. There is tremendous demand for NVIDIA accelerated computing and AI platforms. We expect supply to increase each quarter through next year. We do expect to continue increasing, ramping our supply over uh, the next quarters as well as into next fiscal year. Our demand is tremendous. We are significantly expanding our production capacity. Supply will substantially increase for the rest of this year and next year. Did you guys catch all that? Because if you didn't, rewind and listen to it again. Whoever was listening to that earnings call at that time and was a NVIDIA investor or was even a Wall Street analyst, all these other short-term guys that look six to 12 months to make money, they were licking their lips. What They were drooling. It was a really delicious moment for them. On that earnings call, repeatedly, they kept saying, surging demand. In the next one to two years, we're gonna be increasing our supply to meet that demand. In the next one or two years, demand is gonna be insane for NVIDIA, and we're not, it, it's just, our demand is crazy, and we are at full force, and we're gonna be making a whole lot of money. That's pretty much what they said in the earnings call, and that's why, and that's why the stock went up crazy since May of 2023 up until now. The return, that increase is in flip insane. Right now, the valuation is almost reaching two trillion, triple the valuation of Tesla, which is absolutely insane. What this earnings call really said to the market is, hey, shorts, you're not allowed to short my stock because check this out, simply Wall Street. And the reason why I use simply Wall Street is because this is how Wall Street analysts think and what their revenues and profits will be in the future and everything else and the valuation about the company. Check this out. They're expecting NVIDIA to be printing $60 billion in earnings in 2027. Forget the revenue. Revenue is over $120 billion, but the profit is what everybody cares about. $60 Billion. If we give that a 50 PE, that's a 3 trillion market cap. So if they believe this, because it looks like that they are, then NVIDIA stock only needs another 300 to 400 bucks per share to be valued 3 trillion, to be 
priced in till 2027, end of 2027. That is crazy. There is no reason. If this is the narrative right now and there's no fuck coming out of this company, which is insane, unlike Tesla, there's no reason for this stock to keep slowing down. There isn't. Is it overstretched? Hell yeah, I think it's overstretched. I think you're only one bad quarter away from this taking a dive down for sure. But will that happen though? Because Nvidia is crushing it. Insane. They are crushing it. Another reason why that the stock is going to continue soaring, I think in my opinion, short term time frame, not financial advice, is because they're also doing buybacks. This will support the stock as well. So really, it's all positive news. It's all about Nvidia and it's all these good stuff. But again, it all comes back to their earnings call and that earnings call was spectacular. Anyone who was listening to that, again, was licking their lips, drooling that this is going to be an awesome company to invest in. For the next one or two years, we don't know what's going to happen after that. But NVIDIA, and I know NVIDIA, they're a very good company. I've, I've covered it on the channel a few times. They're a good long-term hold as well. And I do see them being the top five most valued company in the world in the next five to 10 years. I mean, they are one of the top five companies valued rich in the world right now. So in the future, they're still going to be around. They're still going to be doing what they're going to do. And they're going to be a sheesh company. Now, that's the reason why NVIDIA has been soaring. Why the hell is Tesla down? And why does it keep going down and down? Oh, as a Tesla investor, I'm not that frustrated because I do want to buy more shares on the cheap and I'm pretty much going all in to Tesla stock because I know in five years time, these prices won't even matter. But we have to address the facts on why the stock is down because it's not because it wants to be down. There is a particular reason for why it's down. First off, we're going to talk about the Wall Street analysts because again, they talk about six to 12 months. I made a video about that. The problem with Tesla stock, you guys can check it out here. But Wall Street analysts, they only care about six to 12 months. Nvidia crushed it. They said in the next 12 months, at least, we're going to be continuing printing cash. And so, yeah, you're not allowed to show my stock. Otherwise, you're going to get burnt pretty much. But the opposite with Tesla, the actual opposite with Tesla, and it all started with Q4, well, Q3 earnings. But Q4 was the one that triggered it to go even lower. It was a good earnings for the long term, but it was not a good earning for Q4. And it's the one, it's the thing that broke the camel's back, Q4 earnings call. And despite that, they even missed earnings in Q4, even though the financials was actually pretty good. This is how how the earnings call went and what made the stock go lower. It was, I think it went down 10% the next day. Check it out. 2024, our volume growth will be lower, as we have said, because we're trying to focus the team on the launch of the next generation vehicle. So did you guys catch that? Unlike NVIDIA, that they said that they're increasing supply to meet demand because it's just a crazy madness demand there for NVIDIA for their chips and everything. Tesla said the exact opposite. They were saying vehicle growth rates will be notably less in 2024 compared to 2023. Wall Street did not like this answer. And to top it off that, they didn't even give an estimate of how low this is going to be. Is it going to be 10%? 15%. They said, nope, we're not going to give any estimates at all. And so obviously for analysts, they go based off these, you know, estimates. So it's, you know, spoon feeding info, but they didn't get that. And they're like, you know what, for the next six to 12 months, we're just going to go ahead and sell our shares and go into something like NVIDIA that they're going to be continue increasing profits. We want to make money is what Wall Street is saying. And we don't have, we're not going to wait five years, put our money somewhere for five years. We want to make money in the next six to 12 months. That's all they care about. That is all. However, Wall Street and institutional investors will come back to the stock once there's a NVIDIA moment, I guess, or a Tesla moment again in the next three, four years when it happens with their, I guess, when their compact car, well, compact car will be end of next year, beginning of 2026 when it starts to scale. Then you got the energy, then you got the FSD, all these other things. When they all start, when they all start coming together and they see the potential profits, they will go like, okay, now it's time to buy more and, you know, make the stock go even higher because the valuation of the company is cheap. This is how Wall Street works. This is how the stock market works. And for a company like Tesla, the longer you can hold this company, the more patient you are, the more reward that you're going to get. But when Elon and the board of directors pretty much said that, hey, we're not going to give any estimates for this year. We're not going to be growing as much. We're probably going to hopefully, hopefully, if we can, if our earnings can stay flat, we're happy with that. That's pretty much allowing shorts to go like short my stock. Short. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you right now that I'm not going to be you know, growing, my EPS is probably going to stay the same, maybe a little bit more, but we're not going to go anywhere. We're not going to have any surprises or anything until next year in 2025 when the compact car comes. Now, obviously, FSD version 12 is a catalyst. If that is no longer beta, that's going to increase valuation for Tesla big time. But nobody knows when this will happen. And so the shorts are like, okay, 
I'll continue to short the stock until I feel like I can, you know, go back on it and, you know, hold it for a longer time. And if we look at simply Wall Street here, based on this news, we can see until 2027, 2026, actually, $18 billion in earnings, revenue almost $160 billion. So the company will be bigger obviously will, will be bigger than nvidia but their earnings will not be and if we do give this 18 billion dollars at 50 pe that's below 900 billion dollars so not even a trillion valuation until then now, obviously things will change this is going based on last quarter's news and every quarter we'll get some updates when the compact car comes in this is well this will definitely improve i think it'll be at least 50 percent more of what they're saying but this is what wall street is thinking they're saying that earnings will not be as much and so tesla at the moment is not valued as what it's supposed to be valued at until the earnings justify just like what ha was happening with nvidia and another reason is that unlike nvidia is doing buybacks Tesla was holding $30 billion in cash is not doing any buybacks. And I get it. They need that money to do more factories, mega pack factories. They're doing bots and R&D with FSD and AI. So many other things that they're just holding cash. And it is a recessionary environment right now. We have, we see Japan and um, UK, Canada even entering a recession. So they are holding cash and they have no debt, which is amazing. But until interest rates don't go down, this is the narrative for Tesla. And unfortunately, unfortunately, there, there could be more down pressure on Tesla stock, which I don't mind. I mean, I'm buying more shares. I mean, anything below 200, guys, 180, 160, 170, whatever it is, I'm just buying more. And you guys can follow me to see my trades when I buy all that kind of stuff on X. And you guys should be following me on X because I do a lot of Tesla content there as well. So this, these are the reasons why NVIDIA is mooning and Tesla is not. But fast forward in three years time, where do you think Tesla is going to be? Three years time, this is gonna have the compact car mass production, Cybertruck mass production, energy probably going to be quadruple, maybe even 5x what it is now. FSD is probably not even, it's probably not, it's not definitely not gonna be beta, and it's probably gonna be in China, Europe, all, all around the world with the millions of vehicles that Tesla has. Maybe there's a licensing deal with the FSD, maybe the first robot taxi comes out. Heck, maybe the bot starts working in their factories, which brings down their operating costs big time. Three years for Tesla, they're gonna get a lot of things done, and I do think the narrative is gonna change as soon as interest rates come down. Again, what do you think is gonna happen to Tesla stock and even Tesla themselves when interest rates do go down it's gonna be a different world and i welcome i welcome this low prices i'm just gonna keep buying more it's simple as that one of the elements that i want you guys to pay attention on a lot is tesla energy and i made a video about it here do not sleep on tesla energy check it out you'll be disappointed guys get your i bought the dip t-shirt right here because we are the dip we are the dip right now fast forward to 2030 this is the dip subscribe and i shall see you guys in the next video see ya